We are going to tell you about the story railway station of Tanjung Priok. But first, let me introduce Our ourselves. My name is Ainul Kevin. My name is Fernanda. My name is Karena Fawisya Ditya. My name is Devi Pematasari. My name is Rishyar Diansya. <laughs> so, keep watching! <laughs> Nani? Restoration was started in the lab of summer 2009. This will connect to the port, to the station, at Kota and Kemayoran. Head engineer, Art Stadspur Wigan. The building was designed with a CV coach. The, worker, the workers is 107, 1,700 and uh, the Europe 130 per task with constructing of the station and the station is complete in 6 April 1925. The station was start operate as a passenger train between 2000 and 2009 uh, which during the station was used as a shunting freight train. Uh, the station was renovated and reopened at 28 March 2009. So far only, a few long distance economic class trains depart or terminate at the station. Starting from 1 November 2014, Tanjung Priok station only serves freight trains. Heading from or to Tanjung Priok Port, all passenger trains that used to terminate here were routed to Pasar Senet. On May 21 December 2015, the, the KIA commuter Jabodetabek line to, to Jakarta Kota railway, railway Station was reopened after being in, inactive for years. So here we're going to talk about the port of Tanjungpriok. So the port was built in 1877, but since the Tanjungpriok um, situated further away than the old ports of Sunda Kelapa. A, rail, a railway was constructed linking Tanjung Priuk of the city of Batavia uh, in the southwest. This will provide a safe and virtual means of transportation is a swampy area. Thank you guys. That's all from, from us. us. Don't forget to like. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, ass. 
subscribe our school channel. Bye bye. bye. Guys, ini sekarang kita lagi ke peternakan lele ya. Halo guys, we are from group 7. Uh, we will we will we ah, ada kamera. Wah, station. Uh, first, 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 Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Ini apa bacanya? <laughs>